Turning now to the Great Salt Lake, the Utah Division of Forestry, Fire and State Lands preparing to increase the height of berm, which acts like a dam. This all under an executive order by Governor Spencer Cox. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner reporting from the Great Salt Lake with what officials hope raising the berm will do. Kate? Water levels here at Great Salt Lake have already risen more than a foot this winter, and the state hopes that by cutting off the north arm of the lake from the south arm of the lake, they can take full advantage of the runoff from our snowpack this coming spring and hold it here in the south arm of the lake. The berm already exists, and Governor Cox's order will raise it an additional five feet in order to increase the overall depth and decrease the salinity of the south arm of the Great Salt Lake. It means we need to act quickly and, and right away. Ben Steyerman says the Utah Division of Forestry, Fire and State Lands is in charge of the berm and could have it finished within a matter of days. It will completely separate the two sides of the lake. The goal is to just temporarily impound those flows, allow the fresh water that comes from all the major tributaries um, to dilute the salinity and then at an optimal time we'll release water to the north arm. Once the berm is up, the Department of Natural Resources and Department of Environmental Quality will create a berm management plan to guide future adjustments to the berm's height. We're facing this existential threat as far as our way of life is concerned, and it's the moment to perform. You may have recently heard of a research project that found Great Salt Lake could be gone as we know it in the next five years. Ben Abbott played a key role in that study. It's a trade-off right now where we're saying, are we going to allow the entire lake to remain um, viable, or are we going to further degrade uh, and dry up that north arm? He says raising the berm is not a bad idea, but says that the state needs to look for long-term solutions. Establishing a minimum elevation target should absolutely be a priority, um, and then also ensuring a, a required minimum flow. He says if the state keeps entertaining pie-in-the-sky ideas, the federal government may step in and take over. The safest and most cost-efficient route is to conserve water. You know, that's the only option that doesn't have a big trade-off. As of right now, there is no time frame as to how long the two arms of the lake will be separated from one another. Reporting from the Great Salt Lake, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.